Hey everyone, it's Selena here. Okay, so I wanted to show you this cool website. Um, and unfortunately, I cannot credit who showed this to me. Um, it was actually recommended on one of the Facebook groups on character maps. So if you have those fonts that have those fancy swirls, like, for example, the Samantha font, um, which is a PUA coded font, um, you need to use your character map, whether you're working on a Windows um, PC or if you're on Mac. I can't remember the name of um, the program that's used for that, but this is for Windows, um, what, what I'm going to be covering. But let me show you what the character map looks like. So this is the character map, and when you're using, I'm going to open up Inkscape for um, just to use as an example. Okay, so if I wanted to use, let's type in some text here. If I wanted to do happy birthday, and I'm going to change it to Samantha font. All right. So let's say I wanted to change the H and the Y and the B and, you know, just certain characters to make it look a little bit more fancy. Normally I would choose, uh, the character map is automatically installed on your PC or your Mac. But like I said, Mac is, I think it's called something different. So if you want to comment down below what it's called for Mac. But this is what it is. So if you don't know where it is, what you would do is just go to like to your start menu and just type start typing character map and it should pull up and what I do is I just um, pin it to my taskbar so that it's readily available when I need it but I, I'm actually not going to be using this anymore because this is uh, this is the purpose of the video I'm going to show you what to use instead alright so let's say I wanted to change the H well if I'm going to scroll down I mean this text is already tiny I can't even really see very well what it is you know, even selecting it, it's tiny. I mean, there might be options to change the size of it, but unfortunately I don't know how to do it on here. Um, so you would just copy it and then paste it. But like I said, this is pretty little. So this one here is what I was wanting to show you. Let's go back to it. It's called Babel Map. And so it's a character map for Windows, but it's a lot better on your eyes. You can see what you're trying to choose. This is the link and I'll also um, put the link down in the description box but it is free to use. You just download it. And um, So let's go back to Inkscape and I'm going to open it up. Look how big it is. I think it normally when you download it it might be a little bit smaller than this but you have the option. There it is. Under view you can do medium size and that's medium size or you can do large and so this is a little bit bigger okay but that's not it if you go under options and drop down to where it says pop-up magnification level there's different point uh, sizes or or sizes that it's gonna show you so I've chosen um, 108 you can do 104, that's the largest, but it's really not necessary because 108, 72, those are pretty big. So I'm going to show you how to look at them. So I have the um, the character, or excuse me, the font chosen. So you would just drop down. You can type an, an S. Let's go back to A's. So I'm going to look for the Samantha font. So I'm just going to type an S A. M, I guess. Oh, you know what? Let's do that again. S A M. There we go. And I'm going to choose the Samantha font. And then it, make sure that you have it selected under private use area. Okay. Now, here are all the pretty little swirls and fancy stuff that we like. All right. So I have happy birthday. So let's look for an H or at, let's at least get down to the H's. These are the lowercase h's. Let's do an uppercase h. Let's go a little bit further up. Here we go. All right, so you see on some of these, you can see it's cut off. I can't even tell what I'm choosing because it's cut off. But if you hover over the letter and then right-click your mouse, 
you see a preview of it. So just keep going, going, going until you choose the one that you want. Okay, so I want this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it with the correct, um, you know, the, the left button of my mouse. And then I'm going to copy that. Copy it. Scoot this over. Go right over to your text line and I'm going to paste that H there. Okay, I'm going to bring it back up and I'm going to go um, find a fancy B. Alright, so let's go up to the B's. And there I go. I'm going to right click and let's choose that one. Copy that one and then paste it. Okay, and then let's do a lowercase y. Let's go all the way down to the lowercase y's. Here we go. And let's just choose that one. Copy and then paste. And there you go. This is a lot better, way, 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 way better than the character map that is installed on your computer. You can easily see what you're looking for and um, copy and paste it that way. So, like I said, the link is um, in the description down below. Let me know what you think about it, if you think it's better than the one that's currently installed on your computer. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.